about to try out Hightail for the first time on my ride back and uh, I've already run into a slight hiccup which I felt like I knew was gonna happen. Um, the adhesive didn't fully bond to like this divot that I have in the helmet so it's really about placement so if I make it home in one piece we will revisit and see if there's a way for me to um, really make that work. So let's start. Now the reason why I'm still putting on um, like a face mask kind of situation is because my hair is really soft so if I don't have like a barrier or something between my helmet and my hair my helmet will actually be really loose <laughs> even though it's a small my head is quite small um, and because it's so soft the um, helmet will kind of be really shaky so this is really just for the sake of um, helping my helmet not like move around as much It's a little cold outside. Uh, the temperature said it was gonna be in the 50s, like maybe 53 degrees. I was prepared for it to be gloomy outside and a bit windy. It is quite chilly outside. It definitely feels like it's 45 degrees outside and in summer. So this hour ride is gonna be interesting. So at this point, I am hungry, so please can we eat? I am starving. This is what the hightail looks like after about a 45 minute ride. Uh, you can see that there's some pieces of my hair that's sticking up through the top. So just something for me to take a look at once I get back to the house. A few moments later. All right, so I just came back from grabbing my bike from um, the Philadelphia Convention Center. And it's about, well, the temperature said that it was 50 degrees outside. I'm not getting 50 degrees. I feel like it said 48. Uh, it was cold y'all. My fingers were literally freezing and I had on liners this go around. So I try to be, I guess you could say a tad bit smarter. I also like torturing myself. I bought this Revit um, winter jacket and I purposely wore a short sleeve shirt because I wanted to really kind of test it out. Like, is this shit gonna keep me warm or should I also layer up? I technically was warm um a little bit of air was getting in my sleeves um from how like i put on my gauntlet gloves but for the most part it held up pretty well it's actually really um windy and gloomy outside today so it, it managed to work all right so moment of truth i am about to take off my helmet as you can see the high tail uh is installed and I think I have a little piece kind of sticking out of my hair right here. So um, despite that alone, I am going to mm, take this off and see what happens. Uh, okay. And that's my hair. That's the high tail. Well, here's what my hair looks like even with having the neck gator on which I knew was gonna be weird but I needed it because it was cold today so first things first does my hair smell funny hmm it doesn't 
doesn't doesn't smell like outside holy shit let's go to the bathroom holy moly am i able to like get myself together after something like this what stop stop oh my gosh bro what is helmet here oh my gosh I don't know. I don't know. I gotta keep testing it out. I feel like this is too good to be true. <laughs> Holy shit. It doesn't, my hair doesn't smell like outside, guys. I know what outside smells like. I've done it before where I've had my hair. Oh my gosh. And she's still intact. <gasps> High tail for the win. I am impressed. Holy moly. Get you a high tail, ladies. Look at that. I had over an hour ride. It's windy. It's cold outside. Even with that little piece of strand that was sticking up through the top there, my hair is still managing to be intact. I'm so, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Hightail, for allowing me to still have some type of normalcy to my hair because helmet hair is a real big thing. So, Hightail for the win. I am 100% in support of this. Count me as a supporter. You hear me? Count me as a supporter.